Make a logo out of roads. I don't need to. Because I've already got a mod. Where is it? Not that I can build it yet. Um, it's in here somewhere, but it's hard to spot now with that icon on top of it. We have got one. There it is. No, I just saw it there. I just saw it. What is it? I can't see it because of this thing, but we have got one. Power problem at the industry. No, it's not a power problem. It's a worker problem. What we need... That's what I was going to do. I'm going to have to get a loan. We need a bus, uh, bus run. Take a 20 grand loan. Wait, what? 30 grand for a bus depot? Happier. You have to laugh. I, I know I did, Baz. I know. You don't understand, but what you should do, because you stream as well, Baz, you should understand that you get this thing called streamer blindness. Streamer blindness is where everybody watching is going, It's the you idiot! And you're sat there going, I can't see it! And that's streamer blindness, and it affects everybody. <laughs> and everybody's sitting there just laughing. Um, I was going to create a bus run, but I can't because a bus depot's 30 grand. <laughs> You can have electric buses now instead of regular. I don't need more electricity. Well. I'll generate a bit more. Yeah, that's a general power generation problem, though. All right. Well, residency is more important because without that, we're not going to get people moving in. So we're going to have a roundabout. That one. See? Squirrel logo, squirrel logo in roads. That one. That's the one I was trying to show you. Three lane, one way. The bottom parcel package thing is not a calendar of any description at all, and the top one was mentioned in stream previously, as Steve has one as well, apparently. It and was a nightmare to wrap. <laughs> okay. Barrel, thank you for 10 months of excellence. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Barrel. How flat is this land? Let's have a quick look. Uh, okay, we'll drop it down to like here. Oh, scumbag. The 12 might be a bit too big. Try nine. Taking a drop in that into a roundabout, basically. Just do ten by ten. Tommy, I've not had an email to say I can do that yet, so... Glynn, 18 months, hello Paul, hope you're well. Aye, 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 aye. I know you don't like people asking about playing games, but do you think you will ever get back to Planet Coast to have a good stream? Let's say no. If I say no, then people will stop asking, and if I ever do it again, it will be a bonus, so let's say no. Because if I say maybe, people will keep asking, so the answer's no. Benjamin. Hello, Paul. Early starts of the day as always. Hoping you are well. I'm alright, Benjamin. 
I had a bit of a lie in, and um, yeah, I'm just about going now. Right, residency. I've got 29 grand left. What's the vitals on? Vitals are okay. You need some trees or modern art in the middle of that egg about. It's not an egg about. An egg about happens when you build a roundabout on uneven terrain. Capac 2727 11 months just flew by. Thank you for the great streams. You're welcome, dude. Thanks for resume swapping. Uh, right, so if we have... Let's think about this a little bit. If we have a commerce zone here... Yeah? Because we'll keep it close to the roundabout to get the goods to it. We'll keep this for commerce. And this bit will have us housing. Because it's got like loads of trees and stuff. So we'll have a road that comes out of here. Takes us down to the... Takes us down to the beach. So what we'll do is we'll have a road coming off like that. A road coming off like that. And then... Mm, thinking about here, if this is all commerce and stuff, what's this going to be? Actually, can you build on the four lane? You can, can't you? So maybe we just extend it. These are going to be nice houses along here. It's going to be very nice houses. Shopping school, hospital. Yeah, that's a good call, actually. Um, that would be quite good for hospital and fire and stuff. Maybe we link these roads as well. Have a road along here. Put some services on it. Serve both sides. Keep it as maybe a four-lane kind of road. Something like that. Uh, you can speed up the simulation to get money faster. Yeah, I could do. Could just accelerate it a little bit. And then inside, we'll, we'll have narrow roads inside. We have got roads with trees on now, haven't we? I thought we unlocked the tree stuff. Two lane with, tr with why is that only unlocked at 3600? Why do you need a massive population to put trees on roads? It doesn't make much sense to me. Uh, Apple stand insert funny text here. Everyone laughs, haha. Anyways, hope everyone is doing all right. <laughs> Thank you, Apple stand. <laughs> hope you're okay. Hope you're enjoying what you're doing. Uh, oh, heck, excuse me, two months. Okay, GG Twitch. I'm sure I've already done this once, but hey, it's two months of great entertainment again. Don't question it. Lamenting Weasel. <coughs> Can we give him a nutty welcome, guys? Thank you for your support, Lamenting Weasel. Welcome to the Nut House. Nate Stas, thank you for 13 months, mate. Let's see. We could... This is housing. We could have some stuff going on up here. Maybe a park here. It's a nice little park that would look good. Trees would look even better, but apparently we're not allowed trees yet. Gary's traffic lights later. Mm-hmm. 
22 grand. I think we've got enough money to build everything we need to build, but these are like... It's 10 grand just for a fire station, you know? Okay, we'll probably keep... I don't want to build into that road. We'll build off this one instead, I think. Slightly more interesting. Welcome to the what? The nut house, dude. Have I not played this map before, Tootsie? No, I have not played the Mass Transit. Uh, I've not played this game since Mass Transit came out, so I've not played Mass Transit, I've not played Green, and this is a map I got from the workshop. It's these kind of games we have no idea what you're doing, Julian. <laughs> Just make it up, then. It'll be fine. It's not like anybody's going to die if you get it wrong. Well, they may do, but you know. I do like that preview. That really does help line things up. Uh, City Vitals, it says no more items found. Cuzzy. Uh, it's probably in the mod spreadsheet, but I'm not 100% on that. The spreadsheet for Skylines has not been updated for a while, but it should have everything that I used to have. But I may have disabled some things, but it should be in there. Extra extreme gaming live. Thank you for four months. Welcome to the Nut House. Uh, next trucking stream talent is tomorrow, Sunday night trucking, five o'clock UK time. Don't forget the clocks go back an hour in Europe overnight, which basically means if you're not living in Europe, it will be starting an hour later for you. Yes, that's right. Jay, 2001. <coughs> thank you for subbing, Jay. Welcome to the house. And thank you for the nutty support. Okay, I think that's enough um, enough of the bare bones for what we want. We can do the commerce bit later. There is a commerce demand kicking off, but it's more important to just get this sorted now, I think. Uh, 34 grand in the bank. Let's get the water from here. Okay, that's water dealt with. Sam Game. Oh, sorry, Sam Gamgee. It all started with my summer car and YouTube and led to watching the best stream on Twitch. Oh, thank you, dude. So I normally, at this point, get the footpaths in, which I'll start doing again now. Considering also this is going to be a 
the hospital and stuff over here. Get the pedestrian links going. Hello, this is new. Angle snap to angle, road length, grid, road lines. All right, if I turn angle off. Wow. Wait, that's still snapping to angle. Maybe it's snapping to grid. Yeah, it's not snapping anymore. That's snapping into the other oh, segments, I see. Wow. They definitely updated that. That's actually quite cool. Footpath across water, yeah, you can. So you can basically, if you want to do that, you can. I mean, $500 for that, that's a bargain. <laughs> you can build tunnels and bridges just the same way you can with the roads. Uh, cryptic, sorry, Crypt Kinetic. Thank you for subbing Crypt. Welcome to Nows, my friend. Thank you for your support. Can we give Crypt a nutty welcome, guys? Annoyingly, though, it's kind of snapping to the uh, road guidelines, road length. There you go. Yeah, it doesn't work for footpaths, that one. Looks pretty decent. Can we get any parks in? That's the question. Can we get any parks in? I think we need to get parks in. Something in the middle here would benefit the whole area. Uh, maybe somewhere off the road like that. Small park, park with trees. It's huge! Small playground. Let's get a little playground in here and then put a park somewhere else. And then get the footpaths in there as well. Okay, that will do for the parks. Um, electricity. We're going to get electricity over here. Now, this is going to be the commerce district. So, ideally, we bring the power lines to here and then drop to um, underground. Can I get one of those pig squeals? I didn't get one when I sub Monstrous Mikey. There you go. Population's not falling. Um, probably Jackson, unless I get massively bored of the game for some reason. Right, let's get the power line across here. Over to here. I'll bring it to about here for now. We may rework this later. Now we'll just move it across. I should get this going. Now recycling, hopefully the recycling will serve that as well. I don't know what the vitals are in terms of... Okay, we're all good. Now we'll start to move housing in. Uh, Hibs daft... It is a comfy chair, mate. I mean, obviously, if you sit on any chair for 10 hours, you're going to start feeling it, but the Omega has a very deep base on it. The Master XL chair, sorry, has a very deep, um, thick base, which I find very comfortable for 10 hours. <clears throat> but there's no two ways around it. 10 hours sat in a chair is going to... You're going to feel it. <laughs> now, where to move people in, that's a question. 
Let's go with this bit for phase one. Um, may put a few shops up down here. Just along that bit, maybe. Stop it looking a bit too uh, empty. I don't want to build houses on that. Yes, it is. Skylines is on sale all over Steam at the moment, so it's a good time to get into the game. If you've never uh, played it, it's a bargain. Five quid or something. But you can get the deluxe for about seven pounds, I think, and um, the deluxe gets you some extra landmarks and things which are probably worth splashing out for. Uh, it shouldn't be too too bad, Jim Jones, because they're only low density shops. They're not high. If you put high here, then yes, they have a lot of traffic. Connor, yes, I need to do public transport soon. I can actually pay that loan off. Actually, uh, let's do that now. Actually, turning a bit of a profit. Okay, that's brought down the uh, residential demand. No, Capitev, stay away from this game until you've done your thesis, mate. That's my advice. Do not get into a game like this while you've got a thesis to do. Um, I believe I built wrong road there. In fact, I managed to build completely the wrong road. What the heck? I think I had the wrong road selected. Let's pause it. We've got a power problem as well. Somehow, I've used a three and a one lane road. Okay, let's fix it, I think. Okay. More people moving in equals more power demand. Let's see if we can squeeze another one in here. It's only seven megawatts for some reason. That's weird. It's in the dark blue, but it's only seven megawatts, not eight. That's eight. Why is that electricity not jumped up significantly? These um, these wind turbines are not scaling with our population. This is a real problem. We're also going to have to start building them somewhere else. Squeeze a couple in there. Uh, water turbine. Well, the water turbine depends where you build it. The um, it only starts to make sense if you can maximise its power output, 
but it's hard to find a place where I can generate 20 megawatts. I can generate 17 over here, which means it's still not worth it, pound for pound. If you, if you compare the costs of a wind turbine, it's 80 a week to generate 8 megawatts. This one is 200 a week to generate 20 megawatts. So if you can only generate, say, 16 megawatts out of this, this is more expensive. Yeah, the ultimate solution lies in solar eventually. Uh, at 15,000 pop, was it? Well, the hydro plant unlocks at 7.5. Um... But that has a massive upkeep cost of 3200 but it can generate 1600 megawatts so to get the hydro i think we identified a place on the map here it's just outside the city border but if we can get a hydro power plant in there that would work quite nicely the ultimate solution is thermonuclear mm-hmm Right. Now, I need to build more housing, but if I do, it's going to put the demand for everything up again. But we're just going to have to deal with it, I'm afraid. Right, medical clinic. I haven't even unlocked the hospital yet. We're about to upgrade. We're about to upgrade to 3,600 people. Vanilla pork? No. Pretty far from vanilla. Got a whole bunch of mods going on. City planning policies, level 4 unique buildings, oil specialization, tourism specialization. Uh, policies for helicopter priority. <laughs> Heavy traffic ban. So I've unlocked a bunch of policies. Trees on roads, finally. Finally got that. Uh, we've also got the zonable pedestrian paths unlocked. And a whole lot of new buildings. Hospital, fire stations, you name it, it's all here now. Uh, the bus station, road maintenance depot, ferry and bus to geothermal power plants. Here we go. Utilizes the warmth in the Earth's core to provide electricity. The community pool. Poolside fun for all the citizens and tourists. Uh, intelligence agency. Gathers information and enforces mass surveillance throughout your region. With an ever-growing need for high-profile security measures, your city can now task the CPI with public as well as covert operations. Doesn't really tell you what the benefit is uh, of having the intelligence agency. Medical lab. Special healthcare institution which not only treats patients but also analyzes viral infections. Very nice. 65,000 for a hospital. That's a lot of money. I think we'll deal with a medical clinic for now. Because we've got to buy other things. Uh, we'll have police over here, fire over here. We need to get schools. We didn't put any schools in this, actually. I forgot about that. Right, elementary school. Can sit on... That road. They're going to need a high school over here as well. Elementary school availability is good. High school is on the edge. Once this is zoned out a bit more, we're going to need to put a high school here. For sure. Mr. Mike. Thank you for nine months, Mr. Mike. Right then. Now, this is going to be the Commerce District, so I need to get this built. Because we are very close to needing this.
think about this road design. CIA increases the income due to all the drugs you can fly in. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's weird how it doesn't really tell you what the benefit is. flat enough we can deal with it CIA will lead to people randomly disappearing at a secret military base somewhere between the mountains. <laughs> you guys are very, very cynical. As if that doesn't work. Actually, I don't like the way everybody's just dependent on this one underground thing just being in the right place. Fun map is it from the DLC? Uh, no, this is from the workshop, actually. And speaking of which, I should probably save this. So the last time I saved it was on 1.8k. Right, let's get all the water and stuff in here. Water, electricity. Gonna get rid of that. This is gonna have a name. This is a residential area. And this is gonna be commerce, um, which will include that bit there. And if you live here, you're in no man's land. So, residential area, what do we call the residential area? Shared compound P3D. Depends what you're doing. Uh, bus A320 has it built in. The Dash 8 Q400 has it built in. River me timbers. Dude. Remember, you've got to think like a, a salesman. You've got to think like an estate agent. What would you call this? If you was a builder, you just built this. You spent millions, millions building this. Wonderful new residential area with, a, with an amazing backdrop of hillside and river. What are you going to call it to attract people? You're not going to call it Squirrel's Minefield because that won't really get anybody to buy, will it? If you notice, it actually, one river comes in here, and one river comes in here, 
So it's actually where two rivers meet. So maybe we just call it Rivers Meet. I like that. I'm going to go with my own name suggestion. Rivers Meet. Done. Right, this one. Commerce District. No, not M-E-A-T, Dr. Geek Thumb. Because that would be a weird name, wouldn't it? <laughs> like calling it Rivers Meat. You wouldn't live there easily flood. People live in Malden, same problem. Well, Riverside's a bit... No, wait, the, the land's elevated. What's the problem? Squirrel Falls. You can't call it Squirrel Falls. It's got a... It's, it's not a fall, is it? Call it the floodplain of dreams. Uh huh. Rapid narrows. Twitch Creek. I suppose it is a creek. I quite like the idea of calling it a creek. I'm not sure about Twitch Creek though. I mean, we could call it Rivers Meet he Creek, but it's a bit of a mouthful. Rivers Divide. Hmm. It is by the point where the river forks. Creek Fork. Gold Creek. Oh, that sounds nice, doesn't it? It's got a, it's got a name to it. it. Makes it think. That's the kind of thing we're going for here. It sounds appealing. Gold Fork. <laughs> sounds like. Sounds like something a rich person has when he eats his lunch. Fork handles. You, you can't call it fork handles, dude. Twin Creeks. Oh, yeah. It has actually got a creek here and a creek here, which makes that name perfect. Twin Creek settled. Right, let's move on with our life. Let's get some residency in here. Why fronts? <laughs> Dude. Why fronts? You're not thinking like a salesman at all, are you? If you call your area Y-fronts, nobody would live there. Let's get the commerce in action. Uh, let's start building it along this bit first. Right, I really need to get a bus depot going now. We've got 30k, so we've got enough to actually buy a bus depot. Welcome back. Biofuel bus depot? You what, mate? The biofuel bus depot works just like a regular bus depot, except that it sends out biofuel buses instead of regular ones. The biofuel buses are much more quiet than regular buses, but carry just as many people. Place a depot before creating lines. 40 grand 960 upkeep compared to 30 grand 720 upkeep. Well, we've got to do it, haven't we? We can't... You know, we can't not do that. We're going green. Buy a fuel bus depot it is. That's awesome. Now, we can have a bus route running around here.
Let's go. Let's get rid of that one. That's completely crazy. That's better. So you've got to create a cross piece though, I think, because... Oh, man. Look at that. If you put the junction too near, it's just ridiculous. Look at that. Why does it do that? Dano. Dano O. <laughs> Thank you for subbing. Welcome to Nows Dano. Thank you for your support. So you're coming along here and what? You have to go down this dead end to do this? Why? Why do you have to do that? It has to change the lanes because you use a four. Well, we'll answer, answer that one then, Shazen. Why does it do it here? Why is it changing lane? How hard can it be to change lane? You can turn left here, but not. There's no logic here. There's absolutely no logic here. We'll solve it that way. Uh, use traffic residence so you can allow switching lanes at junctions of the options. Well, it is a minimum distance thing. Like, if you put a bus stop here, then ask it to turn left. It, it can't, because it can't come from this bus stop and change lane. I get that. But having a bus stop here, and then asking it to turn left down here... You, you can easily change lanes. It just doesn't make any sense. Ooh, look. Biofuel bus hype. Look at this. He's like, OMSI this. Should probably think about a bus lane around here as well. Oh, Just yeah, to move yeah. people around. Quite a bit of a loop there, a bit of a loop there. Loop round here, something like that. Jules, new laptop here, and I'm watching you now. Oh, is that your new Asus one? Is that the Asus one you're getting, Jules? First thing he does, watch a stream. <laughs> Not get people around. We don't have anything going to the industry yet, though. That's that could be a problem. I wonder if you should have something for industry. What have we got? What are the options? Tram. We don't have a metro yet. We don't have a train. We don't have a ship. We don't have planes. We have taxis, and that's it. Not a taxi to work. The bend is going to kill it. Why? 
Why is the bend going to kill it? Wait, why is it going around the roundabout? Okay. Game logic. Well, we don't have subways yet. Okay, electricity is uh, starting to become a problem again. We're almost maxed out, so it's time to build more. Uh, let's see. They're out of... Maybe up here looks like a good spot. Oh, geothermal. Geothermal. Forgot about geothermal. Can't afford it. 65 grand. Speed up time a bit. So, does this matter where we put it? Or is it a case of wherever you want? Why is it so small? The only caveat is we have to have it by a roadside. But in theory, we could put it here. When we have enough money. Put it in the service centre. i tell you what I didn't check. Natural resources. Funnily enough, there's a lot of trees. We could actually have specialised industry over here and here we could build a road uh, across there and try specializing in forestry although every time I've tried to specialize in forestry it just never works for some reason it never works traffic's getting a bit busy here We've got a lot of traffic coming out of here. I'm trying to go that way and getting stuck. Hmm. Uh, track down which which bend do you mean, mate? Residons. Get some more housing. Uh, you need all kinds of specialised industry and the heavy industry. You can't just build one and stick with that forever. Well, that's always worked for me in the past, Jason. So w when did that change? Ever since you play this game, I try to explain the design fault of a roundabout, you know that. Baz, I keep telling you. I keep telling you, Baz. Every kind of junction has a capacity limit. But in this game, the AI do derpy things as well. You, like, got this thing against roundabouts. I don't know. You've built enough of them. you anti-roundabout, Baz. That's your problem. You're like an anti-fanboy. What's wrong with the roundabout, Baz? I can't afford you. Well, I can afford geothermal now, but we'll get it next time. Upgrade the roundabout from two to four lanes. Right. It's three lanes. So how do I upgrade it from two? The more roundabouts, the better.
prospect round here, what do you mean? Yes, you're right, you can't build a corner shop on a roundabout, that's very true. This could become a problem. As long as there's not too much traffic coming in here. I'm not naming the roundabout. 